Hi, I am Arlen Geyer and I want to show you a couple of features in Lightroom's keywording. Uh, Lightroom has a hierarchical keyword, which means that you can, uh, just as with uh, folders, you can do subfolders, you can do sub keywords. And so an example of that, if we look on here, I've got keywords for various categories, including portraits. And within portraits, I've got all these different people. So here I've got uh, a woman, um, Amber Roy. And um, this one has, if we look at the keywording uh, drop down here, you can see this one has keyworded with her name. This one is not. So there are a couple of ways I can add this keyword. One is if I go down and find her down here, I can just grab onto that and drop it on here. And now that keyword has been placed. But notice that this is a sub keyword under portrait. So if I wanted to, uh, this one also is, does not have a keyword on it. So if I wanted to type this in directly, now Lightroom's smart enough that if I simply typed in An Amber Roy, it would figure out that it's that sub one. But if you're creating a new one, then you would say Amber Roy and then a greater than sign and then, and then the heading that it's in. So I put that like that. Um, it'll only show the final keyword, but that has now been placed in here. And you can see there's a check next to that, meaning that the image I'm looking at currently is under that keyword. Now, one of the uh, characteristics of Lightroom's hierarchical keywords, if we skip down, let's close portraits and look down here under WWC, which stands for Warren Wilson College. Um, which is one of the places I teach. And uh, for example, if we look at, let me close a few of these. Um, so for example, if we look at uh, event, um, it says I've got one event, but if we open up event, then you can see there are a whole lot of events. And uh, that one event there is an event that is listed under event without a subheading. So my advice to you, because I can't find that anymore, because if I click on event, uh, the way you do this is over here on the right. If I click there, that is now list is uh, showing all of my events, but it's showing everything underneath there as well. So I can't narrow it down to just that one. So if you're going to have subheadings in your keywords, don't put anything in the heading itself. Because I can't, I can no longer find that one. Maybe there's a way of doing it, but I haven't found it yet. Uh, so if I wanted to find Adventure Race, I can simply click here and go to Adventure Race, and um, or I could go here to see the art festival, uh, whatever subheading I want in here. But I can't. If I click on Event, I get all of the events. So if I had been organized about this then at the point when I started creating subheads, I would have created a subhead for this one and move and uh, move that keyword into that subhead before adding new ones. So uh, with Lightroom, you can create subheads, uh, sub keywords, and it's enormously powerful because I can look at all of the events or I can look at any particular event uh, and or I can look at everything under Warren Wilson College um, and that, so this would be everything under all of these headings. But notice there are also 27 items that are just listed under Warren Wilson College. And I can't find those particular ones because when I do this, I get all of them. So the way you now can go back to everything is up here. I can also narrow down this search. This lists all of the lenses, all of the cameras, all of the keywords within these particular categories. If I click on none up here, that'll shut it down so that I'm back to seeing everything. So there you go. Hierarchical keywords are really useful. Um, but just if you create a subheading, a sub keyword, be sure that you don't have anything that's just in the uh, parent to those subheads. Thanks. I hope this was useful.